Encounter, written by Brittany Luby, illustrated by Michaela Goad. Sun rose to light all creation. He woke seagull and mouse from their nests. He coaxed mosquito from a long blade of grass. He chuckled as crab retreated inside her shell. When the coastline buzzed with life, Sun woke the two leggeds with a burst of light. This is Fisher. He tried to shoo Sun away by wiggling his toes. So, Sun tickled Fisher's knees. Fisher rolled onto his belly. Sun persisted and gently warmed Fisher's neck. Fisher woke at last to welcome the day ahead. I will paddle to waters thick with mackerel, he said. Fisher turned his canoe, loaded his nets, and pushed into the ocean. This is Sailor. He came from away. He tried to block Sun by pulling a cap over his eyes. Sun peeked through the fabric, knit with love. Wake up, Sailor, Sun whispered. At last, Sailor smiled. Today, I will explore unknown lands in a new world. Sailor lowered a boat from the ship. He rowed toward shore. Sun had not traveled far when Fisher and Sailor paddled into the same bay. Fisher knew the bay like the curve of his fingernail, but he did not know Sailor. Am I dreaming? Fisher wondered. He rubbed his eyes. Sailor remained. Sailor was puzzled too. Perhaps these lands are not so new. Both Sailor and Fisher hesitated, but the tide did not pause. It nudged them inland. Encouraged, they pulled their boats onto the rocky shore. With his canoe secure, Fisher greeted Sailor. Que! Que! Fisher watched Sailor's eyes open wide like jellyfish. He speaks differently than me, Sailor thought. But he replied, Salut! Salutation! Sailor watched Fisher's forehead wrinkle like an earthworm. We do not sound the same, Fisher thought, but he waved cautiously at Sailor. You are not so different, squawked Seagull, who flew overhead. You both cast long shadows. Sailor tried to explain his journey across the water by drawing in the sand. As Sailor sketched, his red wool cap fell to the ground. Fisher laughed. He imagined Lobster had leapt off Sailor's head to scramble to the ocean. The wind lifted Fisher's hair. Sailor chuckled. He thought Fisher's hair looked like a horse's tail. You have much in common, Mosquito buzzed. You both taste delicious. Sun now sat directly overhead and Sailor was getting hungry. His stomach grumbled. Sailor pulled sea bread from his pocket. He gnawed at the edge before offering it to Fisher, who took a bite. I would rather chew wood, Fisher thought, and returned the sea bread. Fisher offered Sailor a handful of sunflower seeds. Sailor popped them into his mouth. I would rather eat pebbles, he spat, peppering the ground with unopened seeds. Fisher laughed. You must crack open the shell. Wordlessly, Fisher taught Sailor how to reach the heart of the seed. Mouse was grateful for their crumbs. Lucky me, Mouse said. A feast. Sun blazed west. Sailor saw sweat beading on Fisher's chest. Does he not burn? Sailor wondered. He's almost bare. Fisher watched sweat race down Sailor's temples from underneath his cap. 
Mm, is he not boiling? Fisher wondered. He's heavily dressed. Fisher pointed at the waves and Sailor beamed. Together, they jumped in. Crab woke briefly to admire both swimmers. What fine figures, Crab thought. They each found a shell to suit them. Sailor and Fisher returned to shore where whistling in the bay alerted them that two beluga whales had come to play. Fisher whistled back. Sailor too. They chased the whales along the shore. Good game! You'd make a strong pod, the belugas bellowed and disappeared beneath the sparkling waves. Before sun fell, Sailor and Fisher parted with a sleepy smile. Fisher set up camp. He unrolled a cedar mat under his canoe. Fisher placed tobacco into the fire. He prayed for another friendly encounter and lay down to rest. Sailor returned to the ship. He pulled his straw mat onto the deck. Sailor wished on a star for fewer chores and another chance to meet Fisher before the long journey home. Moon watched Sailor and Fisher fall asleep. She shun on their ten fingers. She shun on their ten toes. Moon listened to their two hearts beat. Ba-boom, ba-boom. She heard the beauty of all living things. Encounter is a beautiful imagining of what might have happened in the year 1534 when, under the watchful eye of animals, two very different people unexpectedly meet. Based on historical documents, this extraordinary vision by author Brittany Luby of Anishinaabe descent and professor of indigenous history is paired with illustrations by Michaela Goad of Tlingit descent and winner of the 2018 American Indian Youth Literature Best Picture Book Award. Encounter is a luminous telling from two indigenous creators that celebrates our ability to acknowledge difference and find common ground. It invites us readers to reckon with the past and to welcome together a future that is yet unchartered. According to the author's reflection and the historical note provided in this book, Encounter is a work of imagination, but it is based on notes kept by Jacques Cartier, a real French explorer on his first expedition to what is now known as North America. Cartier anchored his ship in what we now call Gaspé Bay in 1534. According to the author, she wrote Encounter to provide an alternative view of Cartier's visit. This peaceful encounter does not forgive Jacques Cartier for his violent actions. Instead, it reminds us that violence is a choice. It also shows us that everyday people, like Sailor, can participate in systems that hurt others. By being a hand in Cartier's ship, Sailor helped to build a system that took resources from indigenous peoples like Fisher and delivered them to Europeans. Any of us could be like Sailor. It is vital to learn about where our food, water and housing originate to ensure that we are not displacing others in serving ourselves. While we must reckon with this violent past and its hold on our present, according to the parting words of the book, the future is uncharted. May we learn from our history and take the opportunity to map a better future. <laughs>